Have you ever thought how cool would it be to have a gym style workout for the guitar? You know, you go to the gym, you have a personal trainer, he shows you exactly what to do, you make progress. So let's do that on the guitar. We're going to spend two minutes today doing six simple exercises that are all going to help you improve a whole variety of techniques. Okay? They're going to be fun, they're going to be simple, everyone can do it, even if you're a beginner, even if you've played for many years. There's some nice little fun stuff here. So what you can do, click below in the description and you can jump straight ahead to the workout. But first of all, I'm going to tell you what the six little exercises are. Very simple, like I say, and we're going to briefly go over them. You can get the tab below for this workout in the description as well. Okay, and stick around at the end because I'm going to tell you about how you can get an even bigger and better workout. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is some chord changes. We're going to go from G to C. So we're going to spend 20 seconds just going G to C. Back and forth. That's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is some hammer-ons. We're going to hammer on from fret 7 to fret 8 on the high E string. Okay, I use my index and middle for this, but you can use any fingers. You can even repeat this workout and use different fingers each time. So fret 7 to fret 8 on the high E. But I'm also going to plug the open A string as well with, with it to fill out the sound. So for every set of three hammer-ons, I'm plucking the open A. So basically, open A string, 7th fret, high E, hammer-on to fret 8. Pluck 7th fret, high E, hammer-on to fret 8. Pluck 7th fret, high E, and hammer-on to fret 8. And then just repeat. So it sounds cool as well as being a good little technical workout. The third thing we're going to do is work out our pinky finger. And we're going to do that on fret 5, 6, 7 and 8 on the low E string. So we're just going back and forth with the pinky finger. This is going to help strengthen that pin pinky finger up. 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 6, 5. Just back and forth. And the next thing we're going to do is mute the strings with our fretting hand and just strum down up. And you're going to nod your head and tap your foot to the beat. This is going to help you learn how to play with a soft touch with your fretting hand so that you're able to mute the strings. It's quite a good skill to have, a very good skill to have. And, you know, a lot of people struggle with that. They tend to get noise, but you need to be able to relax the fretting hand. But also, this is good for your rhythm and your groove and your foot tapping. Okay, it's really powerful that. And then what we're going to do is the outwards finger picking pattern. I've covered this in another video. Okay. You can see the description below this video for that. So basically, the outwards finger picking pattern is low E, G, B, high E, string 6, 3, 2, 1. Play that that's going to warm up the picking hand you can use a pick if you prefer but um, i'm using my fingers okay because i like finger picking so low e g b high e with a thumb index middle and ring okay and then finally we're going to do some slides okay we're going to slide from fret two to fret three on the high e and then from fret three to fret two on the high e And if you want to put the open low E string at the same time, or before, you can. It sounds quite cool. So I put the open low E, slide from fret 2 to fret 3, then fret 3 to fret 2. And there you have it, okay? So that's all the six different things we're going to do. Let's dive in. I'm going to set the timer now, and you can do the workout with me. And I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.
and there you go. Well done for doing the workout. That's really, really cool. Do that a few times. You know, you can come back to this video. You can skip straight ahead to the exact workout. But the more you do the workout, the better it is for your playing. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, go to fingerstyle101.com forward slash free. There's two ebooks there that I think you're going to really, really enjoy if you enjoyed that. There's one of them is based all on songs, which is going to help you put all this sort of stuff into practice. And the other one is all based on technique, okay? So technique is very, very important. Without good technique, playing guitar is very much like trying to make stilts out of toothpicks, okay? That's a really random analogy, I know, but they'll just snap. You'd stand on it and everything just breaks, okay? So you want something with a strong foundation. Imagine building a mansion. I call it the musical mansion, okay? So everything you do on the guitar, you want to build this beautiful mansion and it all starts with good technique. The fancy stuff like all the songs and the elegant stuff and all the pretty techniques and all the, the t t tricks and all the you know enjoyable stuff that's the stuff you can see but we need to build that foundation underneath technique is what it's all about so go to thinkstyle101.com forward slash free there's plenty more advice there right i want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy this workout then do leave a comment below let me know what you think i will do more of these workouts if you want you can go to the um Dan Thorpe Acoustic Academy, I've got more workouts there as well, okay? So to do that, you can go to fingerstyle101.com forward slash academy, okay? There's plenty of workouts and stuff like that in there, okay? So you can find out more about that there. But for now, enjoy this workout. If you're new to my lessons and new to my YouTube channel, then thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you taking your time to watch these videos and, you know, I'd love to know your thoughts. So thank you. Cheers.